Macron in that conference really stressing uh, the importance of France's bilateral relationship with Iraq. Why does Macron consider that so crucial? Well, no, no, I think not. Obviously, the bilateral relationship is important. He's, he's spoken about not uh, interference, not indifference, but, but a commitment to Iraq. And the reason why Iraq in particular, I think, is, is important for France uh, is that France recognizes that Iraq is a major part uh, uh, of the fabric of, of the Middle East. Take it out of the equation or allow a vacuum to occur in Iraq and there are going to be problems of the sort which you've seen over the last 20 years. It should be a major player. It is a big territory. Uh, it was a major player in the Middle East and is now beginning to try uh, through this conference to reassert for itself a role in the Middle East, uh, not for the moment as a powerhouse, a political or an economic powerhouse, but as, as a force for regional conciliation. Uh, and then perhaps down the road, I'm sure it has ambitions to go in that direction. I'm sure uh, that France would, would be happy for Iraq to play a positive role in the region as well. So I think that's it essentially. And, and for, for Iraq n to overcome that, that, that position it's been as a sort of vacuum in the area which has sucked in uh, all kinds of negative forces, uh, obviously most recently the Islamic State organization, uh, but also because it's become a, a conflict zone for other powers in the area. Iran, uh, he referred obliquely to the fact that Turkey has been crossing the border frequently into Iraq, uh, undermining Iraq's sovereignty. And he underlined the point, you know, sovereignty is the key for it all. You know, if everybody feels they can just move into Iraq whenever they feel like it, whether they're uh, proxies of Iran or Turkish armed forces or whether it's even the United States, you know, it undermines, ultimately, Iraqi uh, sovereignty uh, and undermines, ultimately, to uh, the stability of the Middle East. So I think you know, the Fr France is committed on, a very th on various different levels to this project in, in uh, Iraq, including, as he was just saying now, infrastructure projects, talking about rail projects and investment by France in, in, uh, in Iraq. And, you know, no surprise, I think, not by chance, is France advancing this, this course at this moment, just as the United States is effectively pulling out, turning its gaze to Asia, as we've heard so much uh, from Joe Biden over the last few months. It's an opportunity to France to get into uh, to, to Iraq, into the region, reassert what for it has been a traditional role in the Middle East, very active in Syria uh, and in Lebanon. This is an opportunity for it in, in an even bigger country, uh, Iraq. And just uh, shortly before we wrap up, uh, as you were just men mentioning, France wanting to maintain a presence, it said its 800 or so troops in the region will remain in the international yeah. coalition. As long as Iraq wants them to stay there. That was the important caveat that he, that he made, I think. Yeah, I mean, the, the, this is also, this visit is also about maintaining the struggle against the Islamic State organization and against other forms, other, other terrorist organizations. Uh, and it, it comes in the shadow of that attack, that bomb attack uh, in Kabul, uh, which has killed so many people. It was an opportunity for him to remind all of those there that they share uh, this common struggle against terrorism in, in the Middle East. And he made the point, too, that all those who are at this uh, summit today uh, and they came from various different ideological points of view, whether it's Iran or it's Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Egypt, all were committed to the struggle uh, against terrorism. And France will remain committed to it as well for as long as it is welcome in the country. And tomorrow, or this evening, he goes to the north of the country, to Iraqi Kurdistan, uh, to Erbil, the capital of Iraqi Kurdistan. He'll be meeting uh, with French special forces and air force personnel there, as well as with Kurd Kurdish Peshmerga fighters and their families uh, who fought against the Islamic State organization uh, over the, la the last few years. And then he's going to Mosul as well, uh, which was the, the, the headquarters, in effect, of the Islamic State organization before it was recaptured by Iraq. All right, Rob Parsons, France 24's chief foreign affairs editor, with that analysis for us following French President Emmanuel Macron's speech at that regional conference in Baghdad. Well, thank you for tuning in to France 24. For that special coverage, stay tuned for more news.